Hi guys, so today I took a trip down to Bath using the Bristol to Bath cycle path. It's one of my favourite routes and normally it will take me around about 90 minutes to get there and 90 minutes to get back. Today I got it down to 75 minutes each way and uh, let's take a look at the highlights. So the Bristol to Bath cycle path is one of my favourite routes mostly because it's 90% off road and, uh, and it's mostly flat so you can cover quite a bit of mileage without putting any, uh, any huge effort in. Bristol Ring Road Cycle Path. Fairly pleasant ride. Like I say, it's mostly flat. You know, I mean, there's a few inclines, but nothing, nothing too killer. So uh, even for a complete amateur like myself, it's uh, perfectly fine. And now we're coming up to. I think these are meant to be pencils. And one of the main things of why I like this uh, this route. So we're just about to enter the Bristol the Bath Cycle Path. And as you can see here, there's like a derelict old train station. Looks like it was quite a big one. And we're just going along the path now. And we're coming up to one of my favourite spots now, which is uh, the waiting room at Warmley. And it's basically a converted platform, uh, which is now a cafe. And uh, it does absolutely amazing cakes and coffees. Often stop there on the way back from a long one. Now we're coming up to the level crossing. And now we're down to Bitten Railway Station. Like I said, a bit of a train nerd. And, uh, uh, coming along the railway path here. And what looks to be a tandem fold away bike. Can't imagine that's too fun to ride. Usually they have steam trains running along this, but today it's uh, one of them, whatever that is. It's a blue one. Train nerding aside, uh, it's quite surreal often to be cycling beside a, a steam train going at full pelt. Um, not something that happens every day. Now, one of the other reasons I like this path as well is uh, just below us here we've got the uh, River Avon and the, and the Kennet and Avon canals which uh, you often see boats going up and down and we are in Bath so uh, a bit further on from here you've got the two tunnels routes which I'll be, uh, I'll be doing again at some point and uh, Bath city centre which is always a nice little jaunt it's quite a, uh, quite a picturesque little city and uh, now it's just to spin it around and go home so uh, a bit of an expensive ride for me actually, so I was going along here and uh, some it fell from one of the trees like a, a seed of sorts, went down the crack in my helmet and uh, being fairly balanced I thought okay well I'll just uh, reach around, unclip my helmet and give it a shake out, uh, which was totally fine apart from the helmet strap clipped my uh, prescription sunglasses and they fell off me and hit the ground and the lens came out and shattered. And one of the main things I like living in Bristol as well is, I mean, you often see quite a few balloons around, especially on an evening like, like today. Um, you know, fairly warm, not too windy, you know, pretty decent weather. And uh, you probably can't see it too well on here, but uh, it, the, the sky was littered with them. If you like what you saw, feel free to drop some comments and suggestions. If you want to show your support, hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching.